I don't know if you guys can even hear the train from my microphone. But with that aside, hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Wizard101 Let's Play, where we last left off, we finally resume pretty much playing the Let's Play after, at, the, at this point, I don't know how many years, uh, and then when we started back up, we pretty much got to defeat not one, not two, but four bosses in the same video, and now we are continuing this quest by talking with th this dog man. And before we continue, I guess just one thing I want to say was I also went through my inventory between episodes just to make sure I got proper gear on. And one of the things I realized was throughout the last play, I actually had a sky blue dragon pet. But in the last two episodes, or God knows how long um, amount of episodes, I haven't really had him equipped. And I realized that uh, between recordings. So I decided, because one of the rules I had for this Let's Play was not to put any money in this Let's Play, aside for the game's subscription, I figured since that this isn't paying for the Let's Play, that this was a character or a pet that I've had for many years, this does not count. And I mean, if, anyway, if anything, this actually does me a huge favor, because I, I, I got Rolf. Life has many doors, yes, but yes, this is my pet that I'll be using, I don't know how long for the Let's Play, but, you know, be cozy with Rolf, alright, because he's gonna be our accompanying pet for God knows how long, and one of the reasons why I equipped Rolf other than having a pet in the pet slot is because he pretty much can upgrade any of my attacks. That's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to equip him. I did not have any pets that could benefit an Ice Wizard, so I figured might as well just go with a general attack upgrade. But with that information aside, now could actually uh, properly continue where we left off. You recovered the key? Oh my, this is a red letter day indeed. We must hurry. Now we can get inside the map room and find where the Order of the Fang is hiding. I have to gather some notes and then I'll meet you inside the map room. See you there. All right, I guess I'll see you inside. I could have, oh. So, you think you are worthy to enter the throne room of fire? Beware, it is a dungeon. I mean, only four at a time can be in a dungeon. So bring your best warriors, and when everyone leaves, the level will reset in a short amount of time. Okay, you didn't have to cut me off like that. I was gonna say, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm up for that challenge. You can replay this dungeon, allowing you to gain additional unique loot, but only if you survive. If you're an antagonist, why would you encourage me to come back for loot? Wouldn't you just kind of be like, oh, never return. I want this loot all for myself. Once when you're done, never come back. Okay, that's that's it. You're, you're done talking. All right, I'm honestly not too sure how far this place is. So I, I, I guess I'll, I'll see you in the throne room. All right, so I pretty much just like waited 10 minutes to see if anyone was gonna join me. Because if I remember correctly, I think with the level I am currently at, that could make it really difficult for this particular dungeon. I could be wrong, but now I'm kind of nervous. Now I feel a bit like a goof saying like, Oh, yeah, I could totally take you on. Why is this still here? Why would that still be an option when I enter that dungeon I was originally waiting for? If I went to another dungeon, I could see that making sense. But why would that still be? You know what? Just fuck it. Let's just go. There you are. I've got my notes now. Let's get to work tracking down the Order of the Fang, shall we? Yes, let's. We'll most likely need the use of a serpent's staff, so I'll trust you to procure one for us. According to my notes, the Order of the Fang used magic to hide their location. Only by using a powerful artifact in this map room can we undo their spell. There! That slot must be where the serpent staff would go. And I remember Prince Manu Nerini swung it at my head when the Tuts attacked. I'd rather not have a repeat of that. Could you go down the hall and battle Prince Manu Nerini for the Serpent Staff? We must set things right. Alright, so wait, are they just dropping us into a boss? 
I think that's what they're doing. This has been like so many years in general since I actually did this quest. So I can't really answer that. I think they are just straight up throwing us into a boss. Wait, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if, if he has the name Prince in his title, I think that just means that they're, yeah, they're, that, 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 because like there's no way a random enemy NPC is going to have the name Prince because that would make no sense. Yeah, yeah, they are going to be throwing us straight into a boss. Okay. I mean, let's just hope you're not going to be too tough. Okay, I guess we have to solve this puzzle to see him. Yeah, we gotta solve a puzzle. None shall pass through the door unless all the braziers burn with red flames. All the... Really? This is not even a... Okay. This is not even a puzzle. This is just, hey, you just press X like once or twice on each little goblet thingy, then, then you're good to go. See? So, wait, what is it? What are you, a rank three? Yeah, yeah, I think I could take you if you're a rank three. Uh, just let me check my deck real quick. Because I, I, yeah, I could totally take that person on a rank three. Yeah. You are in the presence of royalty. Bow or suffer my wrath. I like how earlier I kept saying, like, yeah, he's a level three, I could totally take him, and I said that, like, a bunch of times. Making me sound a bit like a wuss. Okay, I mean, I'm not too concerned about the boss, but I'm a little concerned with the elite right next to you. Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't have any friends, just like in real life and in the game. Alright, don't be a wuss. Land the first blow. That's what we gotta do. Rolf, my pet, would you be able to kindly assist me in... Kicking some major crocodile ass. And in case if you're wondering, yes, I did name them all after Rolf from Meta and Nettie. That's gonna be a meme that's gonna be following me around, I think, for a good chunk of this Let's Play. And you know what? I don't mind that. Okay, let's... Let's get cocky. Probably a phrase I am about to regret at the end of this battle. Because he's probably gonna pull a move that'll catch me off guard. And then I'm gonna end up getting killed. Kinda like that. You know, I think I'm also calling things too soon. I, I think it's also a bit of that. Because maybe if I stop, like, saying stuff, then I might not actually predict how I'm going to die. I mean, that might not even change anything, because I think just the fact I have any form of doubt is enough. Ooh, I am nervous. I am nervous. Okay, how about we at least provide some damage for the minion, just so we have him covered for... For a little bit. And I think I have enough pips for my healing spell. Yeah, I do. Okay. When is the snowman coming back? I think I could get rid of one beetle, but I'm too nervous about getting rid of too many. But we should probably shield up to be safe. Okay. Is it gonna be another fire cat? No, it's not. Okay. Because that would have been a waste if that shield was spent on just a fire cat. Alright, I could probably use just like a wand spell to get rid of that. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah. Here we go. And in the end, my shield was wasted by a fire cat. But at least it actually lowered the damage with a trap. So, I mean, I... Yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that. It did its job. 
You can't really complain about a shield as long as it does its job. And a another Cyclops. I really gotta heal next turn. Because some of them I like to take risks, but, you know, there is such a thing as taking too many. You know, some people like to live on the wild side, but in my case, I like to live on the mild side. And even that's a bit too spicy for me. I just thought of that joke, and honestly, I am very proud of that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should, like... You know what? Screw it. W what can go wrong? Seriously, what can go wrong with trying to make sure you can last a fight? That sounds a bit weird when you hear it out of context, but I'm pretty sure there's people out there that'll agree with me. Hopefully in the right context. Oh, come on. I was about to do my... Okay, so my plan... Use my beetle on the minion and then use my wand spe <sighs> Foiled! My plan is foiled. What are you gonna throw at me this time? Oh goody, death. Okay. Fire Elf. I'm very hesitant, but I need to do something. Especially something to get rid of the weakness and also something to keep damaging that minion. Because I can't keep worrying about him when I'm also trying to get the boss's upper- Yeah, that, that Fire Elf spell is going to finish him off, so I, I can't worry about the minion anymore. Just pretend he's dead. Okay, oh, there we go. Here this comes. So, I think because of that, I'm gonna take a bit of a risk. Actually, no, that's not taking a risk. I'm still- I'm so used to my fire- uh, my fire wizard. Okay, now I'm taking risks. Probably took too many. But I'm doing this to also hope maybe a healing spell will come. I hope I- I- I'm now having a sinking suspicion that I probably deleted one and then I forgot about it. Good. He's taken care of. Now we can worry more about the prince. Uh, yeah. I mean... Here... You know what? No. I... I need a healing spell. All or nothing. All or nothing. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Frosty. Show him what you got. Give him the old shank. Oh. Yeah, way to go, Frosty! I realize it also sounds like I'm shouting out my friend Jay Frosty, which I mean, in general, shoutouts to you, Jay Frosty. That might be a random and awkward shoutout, though, since uh, this is who knows when this shoutout will be out. But still, shoutout to Frosty. Okay, so what is next on the list? Uh, we gotta, okay, talk to that dog again. Alright, let's claim Good our stuff. Work. Now to use the staff. We'll soon figure out the Order's secret location. It's no use. The staff isn't working. What could I have done wrong? Professor Winthrop stares at his notes in frustration, then looks up suddenly with a bright gleam in his eye. That's it! In ancient times, the Eye of Croc was placed here in this room, but Croc and Common recently took it in a show of power. You must go further into Croc and Common's lair, defeat him, and take back the Eye of Croc. Then we can find the Order of the Fang at last. Oh, really? So, uh, that's what more we have to do. And, I mean, I guess until then we'll have to wait next time in the part of Let's Play. See you there.